Blessings to you, child of God. Blessings to you, family. This is God's word. Be Lady Risa, and I welcome you all in Jesus' name. The Lord gave me a word, and I want to share with you. God says, let me. In other words, just surrender. In other words, God wants to handle it for you. You've been struggling with that business. You've been struggling with that ministry. You've been struggling to set things right. You've been struggling with different things that you want to see it happen. And you see, sometimes we are so desperate and so eager to see a change that we think it's just hard work that will give us everything. And sometimes you feel, you know, drained. You feel like your energy is no longer there because you have done all you knew that you could do. And God is saying, can you just let me work on you? Can you just let me, can you just let me arrange your life? Can you just let me work on that marriage? You have put in all the strategies you know, and you're not seeing the results. God is saying, let me. God is saying, permit me to do that if you're watching me right now you believe in the Lord you believe in the Word of God I want you to make a prayer and say God I surrender unto you I want you to make a prayer and say Lord just take control and it's not something that you just say it and say okay I said it already you have to make up your mind you have to sit somewhere close your eyes in meditation and make up your mind and tell God I am letting you take charge over my home I'm letting you take charge over my family I'm letting you take charge over my life I pray that you take that control there is a story of this man who um, He had a big house, okay? It's like, it was like um, a movie that had a particular message. So there's this man who had a big house and he prayed that Jesus would take control over his room. So every night he gets attacked. The devil comes to his uh, living room and attacks him and beats him up, steals everything that he has. And he's like, Jesus is in this house. Why is Jesus not doing anything? So at some point he goes to Jesus and says, are you not seeing what the devil is doing to me, destroying me, taking everything from me? And Jesus said, but you gave me control over your room. I didn't have authority. I didn't have the permission rather to come to your parlor. This particular movie or drama scene was just illustrating that when you give God, we surrender a part of your life to God. He is in charge of that part. And when you tell God to take control over your entire life, he takes control. So according to this, um, drama this man now says oh i see where i was wrong now jesus can you take control over my house and so the next time the next time the devil came back to that house and opened the door it was jesus uh, that responded and jesus dealt with him mercilessly and gave this man the victory this is just an illustration of what happens if you tell god i surrender my life i surrender my ministry i surrender my marriage into your hands he's going to take the dark control he's going to be there the bible says the disciples are with jesus and they're in a boat and they're struggling just like you're struggling now to figure out life on your own they're struggling they said there is a storm if only we can put down the luggage it is going to be okay if only we can do this is going to be okay i feel like this is a reflection of somebody's life right now you're saying if only i had some money i'll be okay if only i had a new house i'll be okay if only i had this i'll be okay now the only thing you need to be okay is jesus the only person you need to be okay is jesus when you have him he makes sure that every other part and every other aspect of your life is intact i want you to make this prayer again and say lord i surrender to you and say Lord, take total control and say, Lord, be in charge of my life. As you make this prayer, things will begin to turn around in your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that your life will not be the same again. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you, may he keep you, may he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you, may he grant you his peace. I love you all so much. Shalom.